Good evening to you all. We'll begin with uh, a short period of meditation. So please find your suitable meditation posture, whether you're on the floor or on a chair. Sit up straight, keep your head up and close your eyes to reduce the amount of visual stimulation. And take a few moments just to compose your mind. Bring your attention inwards to your body and begin by putting attention at the crown of your head. And then slowly move your attention down to your face, relaxing the muscles in your face, your jaws. And slowly moving your inner awareness, your attention down within your body downwards. So just noting your neck, your shoulders, Relaxing any tension in those muscles. Bring your attention down your right arm to your right hand, your left arm down to your left hand. And usually we recommend to put one hand on top of the other in your lap. And bring attention to your back up to your chest. <coughs> and slowly move downwards. Pay attention to your stomach and your abdomen. <coughs> Notice the movement of air in and out of your lungs and the rising and falling of your abdomen. Bring attention down to your hips and waist. And slowly pay attention to your right leg, moving down the leg Maybe adjusting if you notice any pressure or tension in the muscles down to the right foot, the leg left leg left leg down to the left foot. So keeping aware of your body, keeping energized, but also relaxing the muscles throughout your body so that you you're not putting undue pressure anywhere or tensing yourself unnecessarily. So this is practice of mindfulness of the body in the posture of sitting. And you're keeping an attitude of goodwill because by paying attention to your own sitting posture, you're getting to know your own body and mind in the present moment. And already you can let go of any undue muscle tension or discomfort in your joints, your, the way you're sitting, you can just adjust a little bit. And you're taking time to get to know yourself. And you think about it in the course of your day, you probably spend very little time paying attention to the inner feelings of your body. Normally, we let our minds race out to the world. And we're constantly reacting to sense stimuli. We see things and then we react to what we see pleasure with aversion, 
Same for hearing, tasting, smelling, touching, and then thinking and remembering with the mind. Then we don't even notice our body much of the time. We're in a kind of dream state, a dream world of thoughts and ideas and reacting to the different sense impressions that come our way. And now we're turning attention inwards, just observing the way things are, how your body is. And you don't have to form an opinion about it. You're just noticing or observing the way things are in your body as you're sitting right here, right now. Bring attention now to the feeling of the in-breath and out-breath. So I usually encourage people to try finding that feeling at the tip of their nostrils. Or that space between the top of the lip, top lip and the nose. But you can experiment and find the feeling at the chest of the chest rising and falling, or the abdomen rising and falling. So you can take some time to experiment by following the feeling of the breath going in, filling your body, filling your lungs, then the breath going out. You're not aiming to control the breath and make it any particular way. You're not aiming to make it long or short. Just know it coming in, know it coming out. And then settling your mind on one point, one area. So for example, the tip of the nostrils. And that becomes your anchor, your focal point during the meditation. And every time your mind wanders away, drifts away into the dream state of thoughts and moods, when you notice that and gently bring attention back to the tip of the nostrils, or to whichever point you find comfortable. Whatever else is coming up into your awareness, you don't have to react negatively if you're thinking a lot, or you're feeling tired and sleepy, or there's some sounds bothering your ears. Whatever's coming into your experience, just try to notice it, but then consciously let go and return to the feeling of the in and out breath. So you're training yourself in this simple, but very powerful skill of letting go of sense impressions and returning to the place of mindfulness. Knowing the breath going in, and knowing the breath going out. And of course it may take a little bit of time to, for the mind to settle down, and for the body to settle down. And it can be very frustrating when you lose your mindfulness, you, your concentration is broken, you stop paying attention to the breath and you get lost into a train of thought. And when you realize you probably feel a little bit disappointed with yourself, but that's just normal. We've all been there, we've all lost our mindfulness before and we may well lose it again in the future. But you're training here and you have to learn to be patient with your own distracted states of mind that catch you off guard and whisk you away. They often seem more interesting 
even thoughts of suffering and stress, worries, irritations, annoyance can seem more interesting to the mind than just the very peaceful in and out breath. That's partly through habit. We're used to getting annoyed and irritated with things. We're used to worrying about things. We are used to planning our next move or what we want to do next. So it seems interesting, even if it's accompanied by feelings of stress, discomfort, discontent. Whereas being a mindful of the breath, we're less used to that. That's less of our habit. So it's harder to stay with the breath. You have to give yourself time and patiently bring your attention back to the breath and make your breath very important. And then these other thoughts about other issues and other business become less important. And you see them, but then you let them go. Just like flies on a hot day in Australia. Today was a hot day, we had lots of flies in the, in the monastery. They settle on you, but you don't have any interest in the flies, so you notice them and then you just shake them off or maybe even just ignore them. And the flies come and go and you don't think about them much at all because they're not important to you. Mm, our different sense impressions and thoughts are like that. You have to shrug them off, ignore them, because they're not important at this time. At this time, the important thing is to know the breath, to know the breath going in, know the breath going out, know how long it is, know how short it is, know whether it's coarse or refined, fast or slow. Just getting in touch with your own breathing mechanism of this body. And you'll find that brings you more calm, peace. And this quality of mindful knowing become stronger and more continuous because you're letting go of everything else. Just like you let go of the flies as you wander around the monastery, you let go of your thoughts and different sensations as you meditate. So we'll keep doing that for a, a little bit longer until you hear the sound of the bell. <laughs>